Tomorrow is the last day of term. Peter is drawing some pictures to show what he intends to do on his summer holiday. First, he and his sister Jane will cultivate the garden they planted last spring. And Peter will go fishing with his father. This weekend, they're going to visit grandfather's farm. Here they are, on the farm. They were last year in the spring, and they want to see how the animals that were born in the spring have grown. Grandfather sells horses to riding stables. He used to sell horses to farmers, but nowadays most heavy farm work is done by tractors. Jane and Peter love horses and ask their grandfather many questions about them. In the next field, the ponies are grazing. Jane hopes to ride the baby pony someday. She's making friends with the pony by giving him a treat. Oats are the pony's favorite food and the other ponies want some too. Nearby, Peter has found two young goats. He is giving them some grain. Grandfather's taking the children to see the sheep and lambs. They enjoy walking in the fields, for the farm looks beautiful in summer. These lambs were also born last spring. Jane would like to give some oats to the little black lamb, but it always runs away. The lamb's fine wool feels soft and curly. Wool is used for making clothes. Jane's jumper is made of wool. All summer long, different kinds of fruit grow and ripen. Fruit such as strawberries. Strawberries grow close to the ground. Strawberry picking is back-aching work, but it's worth it when you know that grandmother will make a fresh strawberry pie. Children think there's nothing quite like grandmother's strawberry pie. And a glass of fresh cold milk from grandfather's cows. Peter is going fishing with his father and his dog, Caesar. They decide to try their luck in the quieter water above the dam. Caesar also enjoys a day's fishing because he's free to roam along the river bank. Mr. Frank puts a minnow on his hook. Minnows make good bait. Once the lines are dropped into the water, there's nothing to do but wait for the fish to take the bait. In the shallow water near the bank, a frog is croaking. 
This spring, it was a tadpole. Also in the shallow water, a small bluegill is resting in the brilliant sun. Look, Peter's float is moving. His father tells him to keep the line taut so as not to lose the fish. Yes, Peter has caught a fish. But it's a very small one, not big enough to keep. There are many insects about in summer. The grasshoppers are fully grown by this time. So are the mosquitoes. The afternoon sun is hot. Caesar feels warm in his fur coat, even though it's thinner now than in winter. He keeps cool by panting. Mr. Frank and Peter are warm too, but they can fit their clothes to the weather. Mr. Frank can keep cool by taking off his shirt. In the quiet waters above the dam, a young duck is cooling herself. Listen, that sounded like thunder. Summer storms are sometimes violent, but the warm summer rains help the crops to grow. Mr. Frank and Peter must hurry home. The rain helps Peter and Jane's garden to grow, too. Besides rain, the garden needs the warmth and light of the summer sun, for in summer, the earth grows almost everything we eat. The vegetables in the kitchen garden are ready for picking and the flower garden is in full bloom too. On the flowers, the bees are busy gathering nectar. They use this nectar to make honey. From the flowers, the bees carry the nectar to the beehive. The cherry tree is covered with ripe cherries and the raspberries are also ready for picking. The birds are getting fat on the ripe fruit and the squirrels are feeding on acorns. The chipmunks are collecting berries to eat. Beautiful butterflies flit from flower to flower. Jane is gathering a bunch of late summer flowers. And arranging them for the supper table. In summer, the Franks often have their supper out of doors because the sun sets quite late. As the summer progresses, the days are getting shorter. Every day, the sun sets a little earlier, leaving less and less time for the children to play outdoors. Caesar too has his supper outdoors. The family enjoy their meal in the setting sun and listen to a concert given by the summer insects and the frogs. Peter thinks of the wonderful holiday he and Jane have had. Soon it will be time to go back to school. And then Peter will draw some new pictures. Pictures of life in the open air in summer. 